morning, listeners. With me, I have Ian Britzer, state member of Morley at the first International Yoga Day. Welcome, Ian, again. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here, too. Do you practice yoga yourself regularly? Um, you would call it yoga. Um, my faith, uh, Christian faith, of course, has a strong part of meditation in it. And um, that's why I was really interested in hearing the uh, introduction uh, that VED had put together. Um, because um, we live in a world that's very violent now. And um, I understand how important not only meditation, but also the spiritual and physical aspects. I would be one that would understand the spiritual aspects before the physical ones. So. So um, I've had a couple of operations which make it very difficult to actually do the exercises but the spiritual side of meditation is crucial and which is why I particularly wanted to support what was happening today. That's wonderful I mean I once read somewhere that if meditation was practiced in schools we would end violence wouldn't that be great? Oh, you know what, that's a wonderful statement. It may not be politically correct. How, how sad is that? But you know what, I think that if we taught our children to be calm and quiet before they answered, it would be a wonderful thing. And yes, I agree with that. Wonderful. Do you think that this International Yoga Day would be something that would be great for Australia every year? Um, Yes, I hesitated only because I had the thought in my mind how I've never met, obviously, uh, your Prime Minister Modi, but what a wonderful vision to to stand up and say to the world, this is something we have and we want to give it to you. So from that aspect, yes. Secondly, it's one of the most precious gifts that the country can give. Um, Australians have a very... Oh, typical West, they have a very closed view of India given by movies mm -hmm. until you go to see the place and mm -hmm. I have to say that since uh, Jim Seth took me to, uh, and I only went to the Punjab state, but nonetheless going through New Delhi and then up to uh, uh, Amritsar mm -hmm. and going to the state there, I, I actually saw the people live out this and every country in the world has violent people. However, not every country has a spiritual practice of meditation and calmness and that is what I think India has to give and I think the world's been slow in picking it up but your Prime Minister has opened up India to the world like no other Prime Minister has and I think we ought to give honour to where honours due. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Ian. Is there a message you'd like to give to our listeners? Well, first of all, I just want to say be proud of your heritage. It's a wonderful heritage, one that you ought to give to your children, and I'm sure you are, but we need it. And uh, I say thank you for your support. And the community has been very good to me and very supportive and encouraging. And I think that is what the culture of India is all about. And so I congratulate you and delighted to have you in our country. And I hope we have more. Thank you very much. Thank you.